You are wasting hours on logo design or worse, overpaying a freelancer who goes to you halfway. And I get it, I've been there. But what if I told you there's a way to get a custom, professional looking logo in five minutes for a fraction of the cost? I help Etsy sellers start, manage, and grow their shops, and this blew my mind. Most people think great logos take weeks and a big budget, but here's the truth. A logo isn't about complexity. It's about clarity, consistency, and first impressions. And AI can absolutely deliver on that. Now, I found this tool called Lookout AI, and you could just type your brand name, pick a few styles you like, and boom, you are looking at dozens of logo options instantly. And these aren't generic, they are shockingly good. I dropped a link in the pinned comment and description where you could try Lookout AI completely free. No sign up wall, no car needed. Just play around with your brand visuals. You might just land your dream logo in minutes. So let me show you how it works. All right, so here we are in Luka, and I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of how easy it is to generate your custom logo using Luka. And what I love about this website is that it takes it from logo to, let me show you your entire brand. And that's really gonna help you to kind of see the overall picture and say, wow, I love how this logo looks on every piece of marketing material that I might use for my business. So I think that is very essential and helpful as well. So let's get started. So first thing is enter your company name. I'm just gonna put my name and I'm gonna click on get started. From here, it's gonna ask you a series of questions. The more accurate that you respond, the better the output. So make sure to take your time with this. So the first one is pick your industry. And this will help us pick symbols, colors, and more. So I am a coach, so I'm gonna put coach here. So out of all of these here, I'm a business coach because I'm not a life coach, I'm not a health coach, I'm not an executive coaching. So I'm gonna click on business coach and continue. You're gonna do the same for yours. Now it says pick some logos you like. So from here, give Luca an idea of what you like. So I like this one here. I like this one. I personally like like minimalist looks as well. So something like this simple I like. Um, I like this one, it's very minimalist. I like this one with the actual logo in the middle. This one is cool as well. Let's see, I like this one. I like this one with the two different fonts. And I kind of do like this one here. This one for sure is very minimalist. I think I'm good with all of those. Go ahead and pick quite a few so it could give them some selections. And from there, click on continue. Then it says pick some colors you like. Now, as you might know this already, colors help convey emotion in your logo. And color psychology is really important. So I would take your time here choosing what colors you want. If you don't know what colors for what, just hover on top of it and it will give you the color psychology of that color. So like blue is usually known for like trust, loyalty, confidence, intelligence, calmness versus like green is more for like if you're in the wellness space, this one would be great for you. Um, gray is like power, elegance, intelligence. So that's another really great one as well. I personally going to stick to my branding colors that I already have which are more on the pink side and gray. But you could play around and you, I could think it gives you three of these that you could pick. So you could pick another one. I'm gonna pick this one for, for funds. So I'm gonna pick those three and I'm gonna continue. Now it says, enter your company name. So I am the brand, so I'm gonna put my name. And if you are doing this for like your Etsy store, you will put your Etsy shop name here. If you are the brand, you will put your name. If you have a product that you particularly sell that there's like one product, then you put the product name here. If you have a slogan, you could add it. I don't have one, so I'm gonna keep it blank. Once you have this filled out, continue. Now it says pick some symbol types. We have curated symbols for these types. Now, these are symbols based on my choice of where, you know, my choice of my niche, which is business coaching. So for you, it might look different. Like the symbols that are showing up here might not be the same one. 
So I'm going to select the ones that best represent my niche. So coaching, business, I would say creativity because I have a lot of XC sellers. That's my primary core of followers. I'm going to go ahead and continue. And from here it says, um, we're generating some logos for you. And these are the logos that they generated based on what I have already given them. From here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on a design that I like, and I'm going to preview the different versions of that design, different colors. Um, and also I'm going to see how it looks overall um, if it was stretched out to my brand. And I'll show you what I mean. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of looking to see if any of these kind of like stand out to me. Um, this one do does, I just don't like the end right there. Um, but I do like the simplicity of it. So I'm just trying to see, this one's okay right here. Um, trying to see which one of these I would like. Which ones of these will look nice on a shirt or on a business card? You know, these are all the things that I'm thinking right now. So I'm just looking. This one's kind of cool. It's like simple. It has like the little logo on the top. Um, this one's nice too here. So I'm just trying to see which of these I will like. Um... So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick this one here and I'm going to click on customize. Now from here, it's going to open this new window and it's going to show you the logo here. Um, you're able to click and when you click on it, you're able to see different variations of font types that you could pick from. So as you can see, it gives me all of these here. So I do like that one, but then when I scroll, I kind of like this one a little bit better. Um, this one looks kind of cool. You could click on it and see it. Now, when you click in here and seeing how it looks, you're able to do a lot of things in this page here. One, you're able to change the font type, right? That we just talked about by choosing the different fonts. You're able to change the color. So you could play around with it here and play with different colors right? But you're also able to come down here and preview this logo on a business card, or let's say this was Facebook, right? Um, and you're able to see it overall as in your branding kit, right? And it also gives you a color palette as well. I love this because now you know what colors go well with that particular color that you picked. And it's going to give you all of these options. But as you can see, it shows you how it will look on a blog, how it will look on social media, how it will look as a business card. You see how it will look on cards, um, on a shirt, on let's say you had a, a store that people could visit. Right. And you want a logo for your door and it gives you the, the logo by itself. This is really great because this is really going to help you overall, not just pick a logo thinking like, oh, this is great. And then once you upload a news that you don't really care for it or you don't like it anymore, but at least now you he here, you get the experience of it and, and be able to see it in a different light where you're like, hmm, I do like it or I really don't like it. Right. But you could play around with this and you could pick the different colors here. Um, You could go back to the different fonts if you want to change it up a little bit as you can see as I'm as I'm changing it this is changing here right it's giving me the preview of that particular style that I just picked I actually like this one because I like how it looks when I look at it here I like it better than when I look at it here so you could play around with this and see okay I kind of like how that looks and then what you could do also is you could come up here where it says layout. This is the different layouts of it. You could have the logo to the left and the name here and the slogan on the bottom. You could have the logo in the middle between the names. You could have your name big and then the slogan text on the bottom. So it gives you all different layouts that you could try. You could just have the name only, right? Or you could just have it like this, right? 
which looks pretty cool actually. And then you could go to palette and here it gives you different palettes, different colors. Look at this. It gives you the color palette here. If you want to look at it and see, would that work for you? Look at this. It gives you so many options. It's pretty incredible, I believe, because this is going to help so many people. And you could go to more ideas if you want more ideas. And it just keeps giving you more and more ideas um, for you to kind of try out and look at and see, do I really like it? And this is all before you even decide if you want to buy, right? It's not like you're paying for it, doing all of this, and then you're like, oh, I didn't like anything, but I still had to pay. You don't have to pay anything. You could just go in here and create something. As you can see, there's so much that you could do. You come here and look, it gives you different. Now it's changing just the first part of my name, right? And the second one has a different font. So there's so many different variations of how you could actually play around with this and see what resonates with you. What do you like, right, for your brand? I like that one, actually. But this is how you do it. And you could play around with all of this. You could change the symbol. So if you originally, you know, didn't like that one as much, you could see, OK, what other symbols can I use that I might like more? I like that one actually a little bit more. And it has so many different variations that you could play around with, as you could see. See, and it shows it to you. So you have a clear idea of how your final logo will look like. And they have so many to pick from. And once you're happy and you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to go with. this, And then you could change the size here, the positioning. And once you're happy, then all you're going to do is download, follow the prompts, and it will give you the pricing options. And what's great about it is that you could just buy the logo by itself or you could do the entire brand kit, right? It's really up to you. But I absolutely love the site because it's going to really help you create something that's customized that not everyone else is using because you ended up getting a logo from Canva. So now there's a whole bunch of other people using that same logo. This is unique. It's different. And it lets you customize it any way that you want. And you could try it out for free. Link is in the pinned comment and description. No pressure. Just click around and see what Luca can actually create for you. Also, check out my next video on how to add a voiceover to a video in Canva. It's super fast and it's a game changer if you are creating content for your shop. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.